Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Edward Jones Dome. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense, and these are reliable as they come. Dexter Jackson is a very talented free safety. What's extraordinary about this guy is his stamina. As the game wears on, he gets more and more dominant. And here on the other side is another top-tier player. Aeneas Williams is an extraordinarily talented free safety. This guy is a true leader, and his hunger to win sets the tone both in the locker room and on the field. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Mulder catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Fitzgerald brings down the floater, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. McCown throws a heater, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Fitzgerald catches the hard throw, and that's a touchdown. Davis sacks him back at the 15. Bolger throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's caught at the 49. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 39. Field five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. McKinnon makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Landetta lines up for the punt. Landetta takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Molden takes it at the 13. Brought down at the 15. Tanoe Samoa gets the sack at the 10 face on a quarterback for crying out loud. The defensive design worked flawlessly and the refs have spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. McCown makes the pass and it's intercepted. Jackson makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. in the pass and he's well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up on the field. Wilkins kicks it from 34 yards. It's good. Josh McCown tried to make something happen back there, but nothing to Bolger zips it to the left sideline, and it's caught at the 49, and he stopped right there. It will be first down. And right. Gets the sack, and the clock will continue to run. Bruce catches it in the flat, and he will be well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Fitzgerald snags the dart right sideline, and he will be well short of the markers. Down and five wide receivers take the field. Bolger puts his arm into this one, and it's intercepted. One man to beat runs out at the 40. McCown lobs this one way over the middle, and he connects at the 17, and he stopped right there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Cardinals are out in front, 7-3. to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer?
All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Cardinals should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Larry Fitzgerald has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast. Rackers kicks it, and the second half has now started. Harris fields it all the way back at the three. Brought down at the 24. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a ton of action, but they're not out of it yet. Their D is playing strong and a little offensive rhythm to turn this game around. Susie, thank you. Bruce goes in motion. Thompson sacks him way back at the 18. Bolger throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 21. Knocked out of bounds at the 24. Chip has his number call on first down and will gain close to six. Bolden catches it over the middle and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Chip gains five on the play and that will bring up second down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Rackers boots it from 48 yards out and and he misses this one to the right. They start at their 39 yard line. Bolger zings it to the right side and it's caught at the 48th and he's stopped right there. First down. Bolger rifles it out left side and it's complete at the 42. Tackled at the 39. Then. Grabs the fastball over the middle, and they convert on third down. Ball gains eight yards, and that will bring up third down. Ball carries it for a third time in a row, and takes it upfield, and he's in for the touchdown. the first on third and long. McCown throws a beauty to the right side and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Holt makes the catch out to the left and tries to get free. Chase down at the 36. That will bring up first down. Ball chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Ball picks up about two, and they will be just shy of the markers. Fourth down. Landetta takes the snap and punts it away. Bolden fields the punt at the 18. Drop down at the 31. McCown zings it to the right side and it's caught at the 46. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. Chip loses about three. McCown throws a bullet to the flat and the catch is made and the clock continues to wind down. Gross takes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. McCown unloads this one off to the left and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down.
Falk takes this one way out left and heads wide left. The Cardinals take a timeout. That's their final one. And that will do it That's for tonight's regulation. game. The Rams come out on top 10 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Rams stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What gave you guys the edge today? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end, for sure. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.